High school students looking to continue their education into post-secondary can now breathe easier with new changes made to the Ontario Student Assistance Program. Minister Eleanor McMahon was at the YMCA on Drury Lane in Burlington today to announce the new changes. So in 2014, we announced a, a program that would give uh, students 30% um, off their, their post-secondary education. And we looked at that program and the results that it was um, creating, and it was doing well, but we thought we could do it in a more targeted way. So we talked to student groups across the province, we talked to post-secondary educators, and they gave us some advice about how we could rationalize our program and at very little extra cost offer this amazing opportunity to students based on income. So if your parents earn $50,000 a year, year or less, your uh, student grants that you're going to receive as a consequence of their income mean that your tuition will now be free. And in most cases, you will actually get a little bit more money that will allow you to pay for books and other things that come with the cost of education. And the benefits don't stop at families who earn less than 50000 a year. Families who earn between $80,000 to $50,000 will now have more grants available to them that can help with the cost of tuition and books, ensuring that every youth gets the chance to be successful. For students who, who graduate with a crushing debt, it just feels like a huge weight on your shoulders when you have to start looking for a job and you're worried about having to repay that crushing student debt. So now, these young people are going to graduate worry-free, debt-free, and they can concentrate on other things while they're at school and after they graduate. In fact, one of the McMaster students talked about this today. 15% um, fewer students from that low-income group would actually even consider education. So they feel as though that door is closed to them, and now I hope that we've opened up the door a little bit to those kids and given them a chance at a different future. Reporting for Halton Insider, I'm Shane Lansing.